Hello everyone and welcome to this Obsidian course. So in this video I'm going to tell you what is an Obsidian and some pros and cons of Obsidian and why I made this course and what you're going to learn in this course. Now before I even start telling you what is an Obsidian I mean I've been using not taking uh, softwares for over a decade now and I used all of them all the famous one OneNote, Evernote uh, notepad, uh, keep some applications on mobile, but the one that stick to me and the one that I like is obsidian. I'm going to tell you why I like obsidian and the pros and cons section. Plus, uh, one of the main reason I used, uh, obsidian as my go-to software to take notes is because the simplicity of the software itself. And it's so light and I can just access to the notes uh, even if there is no obsidian i mean if some for some reason they stop developing obsidian i can still go and open my notes and work with it uh, i had some notes on the free plan for some of the famous note taking software that starts with an e i'm not gonna say the name and i just left it uh, for a couple of years because i was doing my uh, bachelor's back then and then i needed those uh, notes for my master so i went to log into that account and i found out that they changed the plan so all the notes that were available in my free plan on that software now i have to pay money in order for me to access it so i didn't like it uh, i i tried a lot of uh, softwares uh, one note from microsoft is actually one of the uh, best uh, tools but again you need that software in order to open it they are all good i'm pretty sure since you're taking this course you've tried some of them and you know how good they are but here in, in obsidian you will know why obsidian stands out from the others so let's start with an obsidian what is an obsidian uh, a brief definition of an obsidian is a note taking software some people call it it's a powerful knowledge base where you just put all your knowledge in it some people sometimes call it uh, a second brain uh, an, an application that let you have a second brain like right now you have your own brain inside your head and the one that you're just um, having some similar thoughts but in second brain you put all the uh, ideas that you had for example um, before i make this this video I actually had an idea is that most of the people who are uh, getting into an obsidian they don't have a course uh, to follow along there was just a bunch of videos so I was like why don't I make a course so I had this idea and I structured the entire course outline and, and everything inside obsidian so this is what we call a powerful knowledge base uh, one other thing I would like to say that if you are reading a book or research paper Whenever we read a book or research paper, we take notes. Now, the main idea of taking notes is that later on, whenever I need that knowledge, I can just go to my note, not to the actual book. So you read a book, you read a lot of information, all then only the information that you need and that is helpful to you. You just take it, write it with your own way inside the note taking software for here for example is an obsidian and then later on whenever you need to get back to that specific knowledge or information you don't go back to the source which is the book or research paper you just go to your application which is which is obsidian that is why we call it a powerful knowledge base it's where you store your knowledge so here we have uh, a powerful knowledge base, a tool that helps you store information so you can get back to it. So I use Obsidian, not just uh, summarizing my, some books and research papers. I also use it whenever I structure or outline any video for my courses and or, or also my YouTube uh, videos. But for this course, we're actually going to learn the fundamentals and how to use Obsidian. And after that, we're going to learn how we can actually use the Obsidian to summarize a book, summarize a research paper, how to use it for your daily basis. But before that, we need to know how to walk our way through this software. So some pros and cons. Now, first of all, there are, uh, I wouldn't call it's a completely free. I mean, there is a free version of Obsidian and for personal use is more than enough, but it's not an open source, even though you can actually make your own plugins and you can create your own themes. More of that is gonna be in the, uh, ne the second or the third section of this course probably is going to be a, a video called uh, community plugins and uh, and uh, community themes but 
it's not an open source, but you actually can uh, develop your own plugins and uh, themes and put it in their community. So there are uh, uh, a paid version of this Obsidian. For example, one of the features of the paid uh, f uh, version of Obsidian is that it can sync to, let's say, one of your cloud services like Google Drive and Dropbox. For me personally, I just uh, manually copy and paste the notes uh, from uh, my Obsidian Vault to my Google Drive or Dropbox folder. Uh, I mean, the, the feature, uh, just go to the website and you'll see the difference between the free and, uh, and the premium one. For personal use, the free one is more than enough. So we'll be using the free version of this, uh, of, of this software in this course, okay? The second thing is that it's very light software on your PC. And you really need a high-end PC and it's straightforward and it's very fast. You will see it once you use it. Uh, one other pros of this Obsidian is that even though it's kind of like a new software, it's been like for over two years now, uh, there are tons of plugins and themes developed by the community and they're all nice. They're all good and every uh, week or month they're adding some new stuff. Uh, one word of advice, just use the plugins that you need. Try to just make... Uh, you're not uh, free of plugins because the idea of using Obsidian is because it uses a markdown file or a text file. And I can just go and open the text file using um, VS Code, Notepad++ or the Notepad uh, on my Windows or the text uh, editor on Mac. So I don't actually need Obsidian to open it. If I had my notes uh and some and for some reason they stopped developing obsidian or st obsidian stopped working i can just go to the core of my notes and i can open it with any other software that open a text file i don't need um to open uh open it with the same uh software for example whenever you create slides uh as a pptx you need powerpoint to open it but here it's a text file, it's a markdown file, and markdown file you can actually open it with any editor or code editor. So I can you can actually open your uh, notes from Obsidian in VS Code and just take it and immediately adding it as a comment on your code. Uh, one other thing is that it's stored in your PC, so it's not in the cloud unless you use the uh, paid feature, which is going to sync it to your cloud. So you actually own the notes. Okay, one cons is that uh, there are some additional features, which is totally fine for uh, Obsidian or any other software. Obviously, if they're going to make a paid version, they have to add some additional features not available under free or nobody's going to buy it. The main cons of this software is that it's steep learning curve, which, is, which means that even though it's a light software and it's, everything is straightforward, but they have a lot of settings, a lot of options, and it, it's going to take your time to learn it. And uh, I checked uh, internet, YouTube, uh, there are some scattered videos, but there is no fully functional course. And if there is a course, it's going to be very expensive. So that's the reason I'm making this course. One of the advantages of my courses, I'm not trying to show off or anything, that I follow a very systematic uh, approach. And the way I organize my videos, they are really, really good, really nice. You can actually see and read the reviews and you see it. And you can actually see the rating also of this course. And all of my videos are recorded on 4K resolution because I really care about the quality of my videos. I don't think you will find someone who made a course with these qualities. So let's go on. Why I made this course? Now, basically, I was actually teaching and making courses in data science field. But as a being a mentor uh, for data science students for almost seven years now, an MIS, Management Information System mentor, for over 14 years, I found out that every time I mentor my students and I tell them to go this and do that, uh, they have, um, what, I, what, what do we call that, a productivity lack of skills. Lack, lack of skills and productivity, which, which basically means they don't know how to manage their time. They don't know how to learn. They don't know how to take notes. They don't know how to actually read and study from their notes. Whenever I give them a course or video, they just watch it just like they are watching a Netflix. When I tell them that, okay, what did you learn? They're like, mm, nothing. So when I found out that most of my students, they don't know how to learn, 
which is obviously nobody taught them. They don't teach you in the school or university uh, these things. So I was like, how about I make start making courses in productivity so I can help them not just follow their uh, and, and learn about data science or management information system to learn anything they want because these are fundamental skills if you, you have these you can learn anything uh, I actually was using notion for a couple of years and I still using it and it's really nice but lately when I started to use obsidian I haven't moved on I mean completely I still use both of them both of them are great you can just use them and know the difference between them both but I started to make the uh, obsidian course uh, because uh, it it helps. Uh, I mean, Notion you need uh, an e email and it's paid version. The free version is kind of limited, so Obsidian actually is uh, one of the best choices. Plus, there are, aren't enough courses, so I was like, you know what, just contribute to the community and start making some videos to help people to understand obsidians and i've seen that most of the coders and data scientists they have been using obsidian to summarize the research paper and books uh, they're reading so i was like you know what let's just start with an obsidian so i started uh, using obsidian and i really love it and uh, i started making videos and now these videos are in a course so that's one of the reason i made this course because the lack of obsidian courses and there wasn't a systematic way to learn obsidian and even if there was it wasn't a high quality so to show you how to take a proper note this is one of the main advantage of uh, making this course that i want to show you a different way of taking notes like cornell notes uh, zettel casting and stuff like this but before that i have to show you uh, and, and and how to uh, make yourself uh, comfortable using obsidian what are nodes inside obsidian how to you locate them how to create them how to add an attachment how to add a link how to add a backlink what is the difference between backlink and, and a block and all this stuff these are the fundamentals you know i cannot it's like print programming i cannot teach you how to make a fully functional software unless you learn the fundamentals which is if and loops and data types these are the things i have to explain it first then we can go to the advanced uh, section which is how to actually take a proper note while reading a book or research paper i wanted to teach you teach you different ways of not taking there is an e missing in not taking i just found out okay i'm just gonna add it here like this sorry about that and i want to help you to manage your notes uh, now I'm gonna be uh, completely honest with you. I do. Um, I used to take a practice, uh, physical note, PN physical note on papers, and everybody's like, you need to write uh, them down. You don't have to just type it out. It helps you to understand. Yes, I know it helps me to understand. But what is the point of if I have physical note and later on I'm sitting in my meeting, I need those notes and those notes, physical notes, are actually at my home so managing your notes if they were in digital will help you a lot so you can just sync it manually on your google drive and you can literally open with any software that open a text file microsoft word OneNote, uh what do you call that thing notepad and so on so you, you you'll know how to manage your notes in a really really nice way so this is the reason i made this course and what are you going to learn in uh this course uh, now this course is still uh, a work in progress i haven't finished yet every time i find something new and nice i just add it so what is an obsidian i just told you what is an obsidian and creating the notes adding images and attachments and linking notes and all those stuff these are already explained in the next section and every time you check the course and you see a video called more videos are coming soon which means that this course is still not done yet and still I'm adding some new stuff. So if you are watching this video and if you are uh, finding uh, there is a video called more videos are coming soon in the course outline, that means this work, this this course is not finished yet. Okay, so I'm, every time I learn something new, I will add it. So this course will be always updated. So this was a course outline that's what you're going to learn in obsidian i hope you like it if you like it please do review the course and if there is something you would like me to add and you don't like it please uh, contact me on my social media account you will find it in my profile somewhere in this platform uh, uh, talk to me on, on twitter snapchat instagram 
whatever you want and i will happy to help thank you so much and i will see you on the next video